tonight. Mm -hmm. We're watching a few, you know, light showers, but it's contributing all that moisture in the atmosphere near the surface. So we've got a little bit of fog. Now this camera is a little high up, but in general, we are noticing fog develop across much of the upstate. So just be extra careful um, as you are uh, heading out on the roadways early tomorrow morning. So there could be some patches where it's difficult to see. And we've got a lot of that drizzle that's just irritating probably to you uh, where it's hard to find a good windshield wiper speed. Um, and that's what we're going to have for the rest of tonight. Spotty light showers, uh, not enough to really even add up much in the bucket, but uh, certainly enough to make it feel very wet outside. So very light rain currently. Zoom out. We've got some moisture coming in out of the Gulf of Mexico. We've got the main system that's just taking its uh, time moving into spots like Mississippi and parts of Tennessee right now. That was what's going to be on top of us into the day on Thursday. So we get through tonight. We're going to have some drizzle, fog, spotty rain, temperatures in the 40s, and then Wednesday showers. Not going to be very heavy, but they will be scattered about pretty much all day. You see that no time is really favored uh, a little more in the morning than the afternoon, but overall you'll need the rain jacket with you much of the day. But rain's expected to be light. Here's what we're talking about. That's why we haven't issued a first alert weather day for Wednesday, even though again, you will have to to plan ahead for this. Make sure that you have the uh, rain gear for the kids and yourself in the morning. There's 9 a.m. A few spots of light rain continue and into the afternoon scattered showers. Hours. Can't rule out a pocket of moderate rain, but notice what gears up for the morning. This is when the moisture really gets cranking and it's first thing on Thursday morning. So heavy downpours, possibly a rumble of thunder even as temperatures are warming up when this all rolls through and then the rest of the day. We'll have scattered heavy downpours. See so those pockets of heavy rain that could cause some problems after we've seen that initial round of rain and it keeps on coming. There's 8 p.m. Thursday evening, heavy downpours in the mountains and northern upstate. That's where we'll see some of the highest totals and then scattered showers into the 11 o'clock hour. Things will start to calm down by Thursday night, Friday morning, and then we'll see another uptick in those rain chances by the weekend. But we do hold on to those 60s. That's our next big thing. It's going to be such a shock to the system from uh, Thursday at 67 to Friday at 69. Then we'll get back into the 60s by Monday and Tuesday. We'll be watching for that next round of rain to come in. Here comes Saturday. Notice it's 1 p.m. Saturday. We get some steady downpours in here. Might even get a few thunderstorms. This is a day we'll watch for at least a small severe weather threat and then all of it moves out. But a large chunk of your day on Saturday is going to be impacted by rain and it's too hard at this point to fine tune the exact hours. But midday into the afternoon looks to be wet um, and then we could have even a little mountain snow on the backside of all of this. Now between now and Saturday, this is during the two rain events, we could see up to two to four inches of rain total about one to three farther to the south and east. So those higher totals up toward the mountains and western parts of the upstate. Next seven days, uh, still a good chance of rain tomorrow, even though it's not a first alert weather day. It's just gonna be very light rain. It shouldn't cause a lot of issues, but Thursday, heavier downpours, thunderstorms, and then potential for the same thing again on Saturday with just a few showers Friday in between. Really looks like we should get at least a little bit of a lull at the end of the week before we usher in that new round of rain. In the mountains, two first alert weather days as well, but then after that, temperatures get back to normal for this time of year and we should dry out in to next week.